Good morning, Winchester Village. Happy Friday, March 11th, 2022. At this time, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance led by the boys and girls from Mrs. McFarland's class. I pledge Great job, second graders. You please remain standing for our moment of silence. Today, I'd like us to bow our heads and just think quietly to ourselves. Let's bow. Great job, boys and girls. Please remain standing for our Wildcat Creed, led by Mrs. McFarland's class. Great job, everyone. You may be seated. We have a lot of announcements, so I'm gonna, gonna kind of go fast today. Oh, I didn't change today's menu, but today for lunch, we are having pizza slice, soft pretzel with cheese, peanut butter and jelly encrustable, baby carrots with dip, fruit, and milk. We've got a couple of students celebrating a birthday today or over the weekend celebrating their birthdays on Friday, uh, March 11th. Happy birthday to Nicholas Montour. Yasmin Parr is celebrating a birthday today. Tomorrow on Saturday, uh, March 13th, or March 12th, is Nicole Capps' birthday. And on Sunday, March 13th, is Jordan Rutledge's birthday. So happy birthday to all of those friends. Um, some of you know that Sunday, March 13th is also my birthday. So, um, several of you have already told me happy birthday. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Um, but I want to wish all of those friends a special happy birthday as well. Don't forget to take good care of your Chromebooks and your chargers. As we get closer to spring break, we've got to make sure our Chromebooks are in good shape. Um, and so make sure you're charging them, you're being responsible. And like I said, um, we've started taking them away from kids because they're just not being responsible with them. Evaluate is doing awesome. We've had um, two friends get a perfect score. Um, we had a uh, Chris in fifth grade, and I completely forget who my other perfect score was. I wrote it down, Comboy in third grade. So great job to Chris and Comboy for getting perfect scores. But we've had a ton, ton, ton of kids who have almost gotten a perfect score. They're at 93, 95, 96, 97. So keep up the good work. Even if you aren't that high, I am so proud. I was talking to someone who grew like 25 points. Keep up the good work. I know we've got a little bit more testing and then we're done. For the month of March, you're awesome. Our third graders are kicking some I read three booty. They are doing a great job. Keep it up. I'm so proud of how hard you are working. Um, you're doing awesome. Keep going. Our book fair ends today. What will happen if you have uh, money is uh, throughout the morning, we will call your grade level to the book fair. So we may get on the announcements and say, first grade, please come to the book fair. Only those friends who have money and um, can come down to the book fair. So Noah, if you don't have money, you're not coming to the book fair. Um, you don't come unless we call your grade level. So teachers, um, when we call the grade levels, please send those kids down to the office or to the book fair. So a lot of you were asking about who won the prizes. So this is going to take a little longer because we have 21 prizes, actually 26 prizes to give away. I counted all of our tickets and we had about 175 kids turn in tickets. I know there were more of you, but we had about 175 kids turn in tickets. So I'm going to give out the prizes. Um, we taped your name to the prize. And then what will happen is later today, I will bring them to your classroom. So I'm going to announce the winners. Um, and I'm going to tell you, you know how your teachers always tell you to put your names on them? Um, Miss Shelburne, Miss Demeter, and Miss Meyer helped me pick the prizes or pick the winners. And there were kids who didn't have a name on theirs. And I put it back in there because I don't know whose it is. So these boys and girls have their name 
and they will get their prizes. So one of our first prizes, Tristan from Mrs. Meyer's class won the Eric Carl Grow Your Ladybug kit. Dominic from Miss Claude Felcher's got the Nerf gun kit. Noon Lom from Mrs. Grafman's class got the um, color science kit. Mal Sam um, from Mrs. Brown's class got the circuit clay kit. Charlotte from Miss Demeter's class won the building kit. Jacob from Miss Thiel's class got the robot factory, or one of them. Sophia from Mrs. Grafman's class won the light up circuit art. Jocelyn from Mrs. Jaffe's class got the rock and mineral collection. Tamia from Mrs. Miller's class won the light up circuit art kit. Kinley, um, and I'll have to check who's Kinley's teacher is because she put Miss Issa. Um, but Kinley won the marble run kits. Boy Ta from Mrs. Smith's class won the marble run kits. Bo from Mrs. Grafman's class won the Build It Yourself Robot. All right. Rajette from Mrs. Hurt's class won the Volcano. Jeremiah from Mrs. Nash's class won the Mineral Set. Dwayne from Miss Kapetsky's class won one of the Lego Gadgets. Bryson from Mrs. Jaffe's class won one of the gadgets. Um, I think it's Malachi from Miss Kapetsky's class um, won the very cool BattleBots kit. David from Mrs. Nash's class won the Crash um, Catapult. LaRoe from Mrs. Hendricks' class won the Grouchy Ladybug kit. James from Mrs. Stout's class won the remote control race car. And I dropped one. Joseph from Mrs. Brown's class won one of the um, catapult kits. So I know not everyone got to win prizes, so I'm gonna pick five kids who are gonna go buy a book with from the principal. So these are the principal prizes. So if you didn't win one of those cool STEM prizes, you have a chance for me to pick five kids out of this bucket. So I hope your name is on it. Um, but like I said, I will bring the prizes around to you um, later today. So my five friends, I'm gonna pick one from each color, green, blue, uh, orange, yellow, pink. Here we go. From the green. Not looking, I'm not looking. Congratulations, Joshua from Mrs. Jaffe's class. I will come and get you to pick out a book. Okay. From the blues. Not looking, I'm not looking. See, my eyes are closed. Congratulations, Kyrie. And I think that's Kyrie from Miss McFarland's. He has his name, but not his teacher. But I believe it's Kyrie from Miss McFarland's class. So I will come and get you in a little bit. From the oranges. I'm not peeking. From Miss Kapetsky's class. Nui. I think I said that right. N-G-U-I. So I will come and get that friend from Miss Kapetsky's class. From my yellows. I'm not picking. I'm not looking. Oh, I dropped one. Sophia from Mrs. Hertz class. I will come and get that friend from Mrs. Hertz class. And my last prize for the day from the pink groups. I'm not peeking. Osmani from Mrs. Grafman's class. So um, those friends whose cards I pulled, I will come and get you a little bit later uh, to buy your book. Um, to my friends who won a prize, I will bring it to you later today. Uh, to everyone else who came, thank you. I hope you had an awesome time at our STEM night. I know I sure did. Um, we are going to have a really fabulous Friday. Um, 
Maybe. Um, I want to finish out today. Um, I was a little disappointed in my wildcats yesterday. I'm not going to lie. Um, we had friends putting their hands on each other's. We had friends getting hurt. Um, I'm just disappointed. Um, we know how to behave. We know how to be the right kind of wildcats. Um, what I saw yesterday were not those friends. So I know we're excited. We're getting close to spring break. I know we've had a rough, a hard week. Um, I know the weather's kind of crazy, but I expect more from you. I know you're better than that. So my challenge for you today is to follow your teacher's directions, even if you don't like them. My challenge for you is to keep your hands and feet to yourselves, even if someone's bothering you. And my challenge for you is to be those awesome wildcats that I know you are. So make it a great day, wildcats. Choice is yours. You can do it. Bye, everybody.